Many of you are probably watching this video with a little voice in your ear, sharing seeds of doubt about your ability or capacity to be able to take on study at university. Today, I'm going to share with you my journey that is probably very similar to your own in order to show you that you're embarking on something that has the potential to take you to places that you never imagined. I began university as a no one, but I stepped beyond my comfort zone and now I am someone, a contributor to society in many valuable ways. As I share, I will take you through the 12 stages of the hero's journey. My experience will no doubt differ from yours as we are individuals and no journey is the same. However, it will help you to visualize the steps through the eyes of another. By the age of 30, I had owned and run my own retail business for 10 years. My life's journey was about to take a sharp turn as I sold the business, and then I felt a keen sense of loss. That season in my life was over, but my future looked uncertain. I had skills and managerial experience, but nothing to prove it. No piece of paper to say, you have skills. The other problem was that I didn't know what I actually wanted to do. When my head was spinning and I kept telling myself that I should just be happy being a mum and working in the job that I was in. However, it wasn't enough. The call to adventure came and it was twofold. It was at this point in my life when my husband and I decided to travel Australia. We had two children, so I took on the role of homeschooling them. On the first day of our teaching session, my husband walked in and was watching us. It was the five words that he said to me that day that changed the trajectory of my life's journey. He said very casually, you should be a teacher. For me, this was my light bulb moment. It was that point where I had a revelation and knew that the teaching profession would be perfect for me. This was my call to adventure. Fear assailed me, but it was my own personal adventure. My decision to become a teacher was supported by close family, but none more so than my mum. My mother was a stay-at-home mum as we grew up, but it wasn't until I got older that I realised that my mum had quite low self-esteem and didn't believe that she was an intelligent person. However, she and my sister applied to steps and they both completed it side by side as support for each other. I can honestly say that it transformed them both, but in particular my mum. Steps for them was a transformative experience, and I saw this woman, who often hid behind us children, change. She not only told me I could do it, she proved to me that it could be done. And if my mum could do it, then surely I could. I had doubt upon doubt piling up in my mind, trying to convince me that I was biting off more than I could chew. My recollection of my high school days was blurry. It was a social time for me as I'd never aspired to go to university, so I wasn't sure of my capability to handle academic study. So doubt was weighing very heavy on my mind. My first trial came in the form of a surprise bundle. In the second week of university, I found out I was expecting our third child. However, I was adamant that I was going to follow through with my dream. So I had to really consider how I was going to handle university study and a newborn baby. My passion and drive helped me to juggle being a student and a mum. However, it wasn't easy. Although I was very excited about this journey, I often battled with feelings of not belonging in this environment. I was trying very hard to blend in and look and act like a university student. It took me most of the first year to realise that I did have potential and that I could do it. Slowly, I stopped feeling like a fraud and started becoming a student. I loved the social element of university. I bonded well with my classmates and I enjoyed the comradeship that we shared. I could see my knowledge was growing, my skills were developing and my confidence was increasing. In addition, my love for learning was being kindled and I found that I had a thirst for knowledge. I found my identity as a student. During my undergrad years, I had to participate in practical experiences within a classroom environment, and this was highly stressful, as not only was there a lot of preparation to do, but you had to constantly be critiqued. In addition to this, my husband was working away for three or four weeks at a time, so this period of time was exhausting for me. Not only did I still have my motherly duties to contend with, I had to take full control of the family, plus plan for my practical experiences. 
every night I was working until past midnight to prepare and then up at five for a walk with a friend so I could be energized ready for the day. I look back at this time and recall how exhausted I was. When I asked my children what they remember about that time, they recall being allowed to watch The Simpsons and that was such a no-no in our house. And yet I was too exhausted to argue and if I'm being really honest, it gave me an hour time slot to focus on study. My nervousness about the practical experience was all for nothing. My mentor teacher had a wealth of knowledge and I learnt more than I ever expected under her tutelage. She had confidence in me and gave me complete control over the class. At the end of this experience, I walked away with confidence and assuredness that I was on the right pathway for me. When I came to handing in my final assessment to finish my degree, I knew that there was one person whom I really wanted to share this news with, and that was my mum. I rang her and I said, let's go and celebrate, and celebrate we did over pizza. I felt like a new person. Same face, same body that got out of bed to go for that early morning walk, but inside I felt different. I achieved something that for many years I had never even thought possible. I felt a sense of triumph as I marched across the stage in my academic gown to receive my testimony. It was indeed an amazing sense of achievement. I found that I had a new spring to my step. By me gaining an education, I actually increased my level of self-confidence and my inner sense of contentedness. But what it has also done is shown my family, by example, that they can achieve far more than they thought possible. My children now realise that they can carve a path for their future and they don't have to be stuck in a rut. My attitude to life in general has changed, my passion for education is palpable, and my belief in people is non-wavering. I want others to experience what I've experienced. And now, as a lecturer in STEPS, I love seeing my students go through this same transformative experience. I have switched on my brain and now I can't get enough of learning. So if you are committed and you really want to see change in your life, then let me tell you that you are certainly on your way. Each step that you take, each challenge you face, and each success you experience will all form a part of your own personal hero's journey.